Welcome back to the Glitch Infinite Speedrun Marathon, brought to you by the Global Speedrun Association. I'm your commentator for this next run, Lunatic J, joined by my co-host. I'm King J0444. Yeah, and we are going to be commentating Benny the Great's Mario Super Slugger's All Captains Run. Now, this is a game that is very fond to me. I got this game personally when I got my Wii back in Christmas of 2008. So I thought I'd just hop on once I saw like this run was on the schedule. I just couldn't ignore not commentating it. I love this game so much. It is one of, if not my favorite Mario sports games or spinoffs in general. And I really am curious to see what Benny's got for us today. So yeah, we'll just throw it right on over to Benny. Let's go ahead. Yep. Hey. So uh, this is the All Captain Speedrun. Instead of any percent where you just get a full team and then fight, or I guess play against Bowser Jr., um, you get all of the captains, so that's Mario, DK, Peach, Yoshi, and Wario. And then you beat Bowser Jr. and then Bowser. Um, oh. Let me. Um, so, there aren't really too many difficult strats in this. Um, except for at the very end, there's something called Fast Bowser. Uh, I'll explain it once we actually get there. So... Timing starts when I press when I press new on the challenge screen. So Yep. Challenge mode for those unaware is basically this game's story mode. It's how you unlock different stadiums, different uh, teammates for different captains on the team. So if you wanna get all the all the content that this game has to offer, you play through this mode. Yep. Alright, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. All right, play right. ball. So, I'm playing on Wii U. Um, Wii U has significantly faster loads than Wii. Specifically, this is like the Wii Virtual Console, right? Like the yes. okay, yeah. yeah. So the beginning is just smashing. Um, yeah, it's about a minute. It's about a minute of just smashing. Yeah, but just to go over like the objectives run. In order to beat the story mode, you need to gather a team of nine players and then go against Bowser Jr. And then once you defeat him, you have to defeat Bowser in Bowser Castle Stadium. And then run ends there. But in the story mode, you're controlling Mario in this overworld. And he's one of five main captains, which is what all captains in this category comes with. So this category does not just require getting just nine teammates to join your team to beat Bowser and Bowser Jr you need to collect all five of the captains in the overworld, which include Peach, Yoshi, Wario, and DK. And each of these captains have their own special abilities to navigate the overworld. And Benny is gonna go over to Peach Gardens first, because I believe he can just get Peach right away without any other captains to unlock her. Yep. And Peach is actually who we stick with at the very end. Peach is a very good captain. So first, we have to talk to Toadette. Yeah, so the way that this challenge mode is worked is that there's a combination of overworld puzzles where you collect certain overworld items and then complete certain, like, mini-games, such as, uh, like, in this case, it's like a slider puzzle, like, rotating puzzle. This is probably the worst, my least favorite part of the run, just because of how inconsistent the Wiimote could, could be. Oh, yeah, because this is 2008. They really love, like, rotating motion controls like that. But thankfully, I think it's, like, over pretty quickly. And it's only at the start of the run. It could only go uphill from here, you know? Yeah, Nintendo had a phase specifically with the Wii where they wanted to do motion controls for pretty much everything. Mm, kind of slow, but whatever. And by completing these puzzles in the overworld, you can recruit uh, teammates, but sometimes you'll be given scout missions where you have to complete a certain baseball-related challenge and in order to recruit of them. scout missions, here is our first one. one. Actually, this is like a, a rival mission where you have to defeat like one of Bowser's forces in order to progress in the right. overworld. Oh, actually. Nope. So I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to switch off of the nunchuck for this. Um, yeah. This is for consistency. Technically, it's slower, but I'm in a marathon. I have to play consistent. Yeah. For those unaware, there are three different types of control schemes in Sluggers. There's just Wiimote upright, Wiimote with the nunchuck, and then Wiimote sideways without motion controls. 
And in this game, the nunchuck is better for navigating the overworld in story mode and also allows you more control in the field. While in this game, if you do play with just the Wiimote upright, you can just automatically go in the field by just shaking the Wii remote. And that is more consistent, although more slow because you have no control over the trajectory of where your outfielders or infielders go. Oh, and there's our buddy Toadsworth. The so, best character. <laughs> Toadsworth is funny. Um, I... <laughs> In this game, oh, sorry. He has like a notoriously slow pitch. So whenever you play against your friends and you are you play this game, put Toadsworth on the mound and you will drive your friends crazy. Oh, it's, it's great. I saw it for the first time firsthand last night and it impressed me, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, it, it shocks everyone. And many people think that because of that, they're thinking, oh man, Toadsworth is just too All OP. Right. You can't. I hate can't to uh, interrupt, but this is. In my opinion, the hardest mission, um, hitting to, hitting in a certain direction is just so annoying. It's all timing, right? It's all timing. And in some cases, you can only have a few frames to, to hit it. So, yeah. It's an example of a bad hit. Yeah. yeah, I can see why it wastes a lot of time, but you only need to hit one of them, so... <laughs> it's not too punishing, it seems like. No, it, it can be. I guess I could imagine when you're on world record pace and all. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to swing a bit late. Hmm. All right, I might might switch. So I actually normally choose Luigi there because because of timing. Mario hits on the other side, but because I've been hitting because I've been hitting a bit early, I think I'd better off switching to Mario for this. Um, it's all a feeling thing, and it really depends on the day. You know, that is really good insight, like a uh, right hand versus left hand pitch, a right yeah, hidden. Perfect. Yep, that was... There we go. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, hardest mission's over. <laughs> so I think that brings us to... Four recruits? Something like that. Yeah. As well as that statue. So that statue is actually Daisy herself. And you put it on that uh, pressure plate in order to uh, to make sure that Toadsworth can leave so you can recruit Toadsworth. And I believe that allows you to access Peach. <laughs> And there we go. Just put on that pressure plate. <laughs> and now it's the first challenge against Bowser Jr. So in each of these stadiums, in order to take control of the stadium and recruit certain members, you need to beat Bowser Jr. Whether it's like at a certain game, like a one-inning game, or a certain challenge, like mini game. Like I know a mini game is in like the Yoshi Park. Yep. In this one, I believe it's a one-inning game. It's called a one-inning comeback. It's whatever. I mean, not too bad. Once again, disconnect the nunchuck to make it a bit easier. Yeah, because with the nunchuck, you can also, like, scatter your hits, right? Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Nice slow pitch there from Bowser Jr. Yo, that's... That's is a that foul. a homer? No. No, no that's, that's a foul. foul. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, Peach's Ice Garden. I was never a fan of the stadium. Isn't it like the largest stadium in the, the game? It is the largest. So even though it has the lowest walls, it is still just massive. All right, there we go. Keep the clean the challenge. Yep. Now, luckily, we don't have to do those for every for everyone. Um, getting the getting the captains in the other locations isn't nearly as, as annoying. So if that Peach is recruited and that gives you two out of the five captains required to complete this category's definition. It also brings back Daisy from being stone, but unless you find like a statue piece, you can't get her. But do you get her in this run? No. Okay, yeah, that probably wastes too much time. <laughs> Figured. So where to next? 
Uh, next we will actually go to... To, uh, Yoshi's... Yoshi Stadium, I think. Yep, to Yoshi Park we go. Because you get Yoshi right away in this, if I recall correctly. Uh, pretty much. There, there is a mini game you have to do. Yeah, you, you have to like hit, a, like throw the baseballs at the Prada plants in the wheel. Now, are the patterns for these plants predetermined or is it randomized? It's RNG. Okay. But is it RNG that like negatively affects the run sometimes? Um, it's more just like annoying. <laughs> it's not, it can't really negatively affect. Oh, yeah. And it just seems like reaction. So, yeah, this is kind of like, I, I kind of like equate this to like whack-a-mole or something. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, because you have to shake to refill your balls. Yeah, again, lots of motion controls in this game because Nintendo was yeah. really into that at this time. But to be honest, I don't even think they work half bad when the time when you play the main baseball game. That is true. Like some games is like the shaking mechanics and motion controls work really well. Some games yeah. they kind of feel shoehorned in. Depends on the game. Yeah, I have a, I have some horror stories of Wii shovelware yeah. games like being really terrible. And like when he said, this is all completely random with where those spawn. So he reacted pretty well there. I missed a few, but. You know, nothing you can really do about Nothing that. too major. So, Benny, I'm going to ask on behalf of everybody who's watching, is there a chance we can get you to possibly play one match as Toadsworth? Um, I'll use Toadsworth in the last inning. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, you got to demonstrate You, you got to show them. You got to show the, the viewers the power of Toadsworth. Depends on timing. Yeah, like, if you're ahead of estimate and don't have to worry about that, right. then show it off. So this is an interesting challenge. You actually can't use single Wiimote. You could use sideways, but you lose the uh, analog controls. But this one forces you to take control. And it's, I think, our first fielding one. Well, you got a little bit of a taste of Toadsworth's pitching there. So you're saying like with single Wiimote, uh, dropping the ball is way easier? Or is it that this game forces you to do nunchuck for this it one? It forces you to do nunchuck. Okay. Similar to like the stealing bases one. Yeah. Okay. Jump. There, there we nice. go. Nice. Okay. That went well. Yeah. That one, he just had to get three catch outs. Mm-hmm. So now you get Yoshi. Yep. Okay, that's three out of five captains. And now, do you stay in Yoshi Park or do you head nope. to the DK jungle? There's no reason to stay here. Okay. Yep, he's got the nine uh, teammates required to beat Bowser Jr. But this is all captains, not any percent. So you're going to G DK jungle, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so once you get the captain for one area, there's no reason to yeah. stick around. So we just head to the next yeah. one. And you get enough you get enough playing the actual story. Yep. See now we have nine. Yep, so you can face Bowser Jr. Now for DK Jungle, I am embarrassed to admit for like over a month as a kid, I could not figure out how to get DK here. I <laughs> like I remember you have to find like this sign and it's like right behind the exit sign. Yeah, but it's it's horrible. Yeah, isn't it, like, hard to even, like, detect, like, to grab this the object as well? Yep. I've had trouble in some of my runs. I've actually had multiple runs that lose, like, a minute to it. Wow, really? So it wasn't just me being an idiot kid, huh? Nope. But it's in the same location every time. It is in the same location every time, but it it's just, like, it is weird. So now Dark Bones time. Dark Bones is a cool color swap. I, I don't care, like, it's just a like, color swap of dry, bow uh, dry Bones. I almost said Dry Bowser. Dry Bowser. Because it had, like, the spikes on the shell and all. It kind of made me think of that. I kind of wish they'd bring Dark Bones back. Yeah, he's never... I don't think he's ever came uh, come back at all with anything nope. else. So. Yeah, he has, even has, like, a cool little horn and whatnot. I like that.
But anyways, oh, this is the buddy jump. So in this game, whenever uh, like someone hits like a homer, there's uh, this mechanic in this game called chemistry. And when you have two people in the outfield that have oh, good chemistry, you can do buddy jumps to uh, to catch home runs that are like really high up the ground, or you can do buddy tosses to throw like a ball straight to a base really fast. It can be sometimes tricky the time since you don't see the ring, so you have to pay attention to the shadow. And when you play an actual match of sluggers, not only do you want to have every person in the outfield have like chemistry with center field, you want to make sure that they're decently fast so they can catch it in time. Which, thankfully, both uh, Mario and Yoshi, who Yoshi's like one of the fastest characters in this game, he's really good. Yeah, so that went pretty well. Yeah, so now the next thing to do is you can't necessarily recruit DK until you find that stone tablet piece. His main ability is needed in order to unlock Wario. Because if you saw, even though we got Peach and Yoshi, we haven't been using their overworld abilities very much. So Wario's the only captain in this uh, story mode where you perfect. absolutely have to uh, get like another captain to get it. That was a perfect. That was a perfect tablet grab. Yeah, yeah that's. A, it, it might look easy, like oh, he just went behind the pillar and picked up the tablet, but it's way, way harder than it looks. I was gonna say that was the that was the tablet that Ludic was talking about there. Yeah, that was the part that got me stuck at this game for like over a month. You, you might laugh, but it's actually kind of wonky the detection for like picking it up. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. Now for this scout mission, anything interesting about this one? Nope. <laughs> Just getting out. Okay. Uh, you pitch in. Yep. Okay. So now we finally get to see us uh, pitching. Oh yeah, the, we haven't seen it. So the pitching's all about like certain timings or whatnot. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> RNG. Oh, that's bad luck. Yeah. Also, you got really two slow characters in the outfield too. That's not very good. Oh, I got the glitch. Okay. The glitch. It didn't actually. Oh, is is that like a solo Wiimote thing? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a there's a chance that when you switch your controls, it won't actually pop up the um, the change text, and so then you can't move and stuff. Oh, that. So dumb. that's what happened. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's. That's a nice minute time loss. That's whatever. a little unfortunate, but there's nothing <laughs> you can do about it. That's baseball for you. Yeah, if you don't take out your nunchuck, then uh, then you can't catch the balls. Yeah, just like real baseball. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was always put in right field. All right, so that's DK. So yep, heading on out. Yeah, now the last cap to get is Wario. The reason why we had to get DK before Wario is because. Uh, Wario is uh, bottlenecked by DK. Like, you need uh, DK's ability to climb vines and also break boxes in order to reach Wario. Not sure if there's any other abilities used here. Uh, nope. Nice foggy city we have here. Yeah. <laughs> The main gimmick of this area is that you can only go in areas that are not foggy, so you have to find ways to clear fog. So in this one, you have to light up this sign, and that allows you to go to the lower left portion. It is super lenient. I was going to say, that's close enough. Yep. Mm, yum, garlic. Everyone, that could be good, yeah. Wow, <laughs> it's very generous. So yeah, not only do we have motion controls, we also have oh, pointer that, controls. That was an interesting one. Yeah, and they're very generous. Oh, oh wow, oh. I actually failed that Maybe one. not that generous. <laughs> well, the other one, it was like the one was in, it, like half an inch off. It yeah, was... I was going to say, this one was closer than the other one. That was surprising. Yeah, yeah this go. is way more generous than that Mario Party minigame. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've never failed that. Oh, well, there's that's never happened before. I was going to say, you got to say the line. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah, we Goomba. got Goomba now. Yeah. Everyone loves Goomba. Or do you use him in the team against Bowser Jr. or Bowser? Because uh, I know that you probably have specific teams because you have more than eight. I mean, nine. I, I normally just do random because 
it's faster than just than manually selecting. So I was going on the bottom there to avoid the paratroopa. Oh, uh, to avoid the text with yep. the billboard and him begging you to get the paintbrush. Yeah, this game's really interesting with all the characters in the Mario series that you can play as. Like, you, you can even play as, like, Blooper. Dude, this roster is so good. If you've seen, like, the full roster of this game, it is seriously impressive. I love the variety of characters in this game. Yeah, it's crazy compared to, like, uh, even other sports games like Mario Strikers and stuff like that. Like, yeah. you get some characters you would yeah. never expect to see. Yeah, I mean, I love the Mario Strikers charge sidekicks and all, but this game oh. takes the cake for, like, really, really good roster. Yeah, definitely. So much variety. Yeah. Perfect. Like, I'd say that this is even better than Mario Kart Wii's roster. Definitely better than Mario Kart 8's roster. Oh, yeah, definitely. We don't have, like, eight Koopalings here, so... Yeah. It's getting really bad pitching RNG. Yeah, I guess this game is missing, like, Koopalings, so they didn't bring them back, because this wow. is 2008, right. not 2009. But going Marcus. back in. Oh. Oh, nice. There you go. No, that wasn't it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Minor time loss due to the stages gimmick. I love the stadium, by the way. This is my favorite stadium to play on, other than maybe uh, um, Mario Stadium or the Bowser one. There you go. Perfect. Except not perfect. <laughs> Took a bit longer than it should have. But hey, you passed. Still got a little bit of a time loss. Never hurt anyone, so. Okay, now with this clear, you can get Wario now with DK. I take it. Yep. Yeah, so like we said before, we we need DK for this to unlock Wario. Yeah, so there's a specific order, but I guess, uh, well, also you get, uh, it's important to get Peach and Yoshi first, not only because they're not bottlenecked by any other captain abilities on well, the overworld. you say that, but actually the record does not do that. Oh, really? What does the record do? What's the record's route? I think the record actually does Yoshi first. Okay, well, I guess that the record would do Yoshi because faster in the outfield. And this is the first time we see a bit of a captain switch. Yeah, and there we go. There's the vines we have to use. And I'll have to do one more after this. To, I'll switch to Peach because Peach is obviously the best captain. Of course, of course. Oh, Peach is... I, I'd say that Yoshi is really uh, debatably because... I understand why you say Peach, because Peach's well, uh, star swing uh, affects all people that are in, like, the so outfield and infield that aren't here, females. Here's the thing, though. Yeah? Um, when you press random, it actually... The actual team depends on who your captain is. Oh, really? Yeah, so Peach has the overall best random team. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I thought it was because of the star swing, but both Peach and Yoshi have really good star swings because Peach is, is like the heart swing where whenever the ball passes like in the field, it makes it paralyzes everyone in the outfield that is not female. I'm not making this up, by the way. Oh, that, that's I, real. I and then, not counting the text boxes. Oh, you press no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Yoshi's is also pretty broken. Right. Yoshi's so, yeah, is just Yeah, Here amazing. you can see that's the random team already. Yo, we got Toesworth. Let's go. And Good RNG. We don't have to switch him in. Um, Star on. Um, that's another like kind of tough strat. Depending on how good you are, Star on actually could be faster. All right, so I'm batting first, which means I will keep the nunchuck in. Yeah. Unfortunately, since the meter is low, we don't get to see Peach's absolutely broken star right. swing. But Take it. Oh, oh. Never mind. The change up is close. <laughs> yeah. When he threw the ball beforehand. So if you don't mind telling me, what is the star swing strat that's apparently riskier? Um, just having it. Just having it. But um, if the opponent gets it, each star swing loses. Every star swing that the opponent does can lose a lot of time. Uh, so. Yeah, because it plays a little bit of animation. Well, does it depend on like, whether it's a captain or not? Oh, yeah. Well, there's a star swing. Aww. Aww. Oh, I also notice you have air items as well. Yeah, items are actually forced on. All right, yeah. so we do that. And now what I do is I just bunt for the rest of them. Okay. Yeah, so bunting is how you get very easy outs. Yep. Oh, just a quick double play. Yeah. Yeah, because I got one point uh, and Bowser Jr. is only three innings long. Yeah, for a second I thought it was going to be a squeeze bunt. 
Yeah, and right there was the uh, the changing controls text box I was talking about earlier, which is how he got the glitch. Yeah, because I've seen some people, like there's this one YouTuber that plays this game a lot, uh, Chiz plays. He uses... I know who you're uh, talking about. Yeah, he, he's really hype. He's like kind of loud, but I, I just love watching him rage at this game. All right. I'll, I'll do it. I'll... Yeah, so what he does is like he'll oh, use like go. the nunchuck while batting, but change to solo Wiimote when in the outfield. <laughs> and here's Toadsworth. This is what you all wanted to see. Yeah, it might look a bit weird from our perspective, but ooh. Oh, I thought that was going to be a buddy no, toss, but no it. chemistry. Yeah, if, if those two people had chemistry... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's the toads were pitched for you. It's so funny because some, some of the AIs just don't swing at him, but it, the ball just stops it right in front of them. Yeah, and if you think that you could just hit it, it, it actually takes a bit of practice to actually uh, hit against toads where, like, if your friend decides to pull oh, a prank on you and just do that. Whoa! Oh, wow. All right. I'm glad I have the nunchuck, because then I could actually... Advance and go yeah. out. Yeah, he can actually run out and get make sure that he gets tagged. I'm bouncing it again. Better catch it. Okay, okay good. They actually caught it this time. This seems a lot easier than, like, the bunting and Wii Sports baseball. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. I've seen so many Wii Sports runners run all sparts, no baseball, just because no, I, baseball is right. just... <laughs> I actually want to get this. I actually want to be ahead of schedule, <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, well, you, you did what I asked. Yeah, you, you, yeah, showed you, him you showed the power of Toadsworth. We got what we wanted. Yeah, the first time I saw that, I, I cracked laughing. It was... It's so funny the first time you see it, because you don't expect it to go that slow. Especially because the game, when you get Toadsworth, they, it literally calls him a master pitcher. He, he yeah. technically is. So how pitching is determined is uh, how tired they get. Oh, that's or fair. how quickly they get tired. Oh, yeah, because they get fatigued and you have to switch them out. You see yeah. the computers do that. The game never really tells you about the fatigue system other than, like, it shows up. It's something you figure out when you play against computers. When they get fatigued, they switch out. I like that show don't tell approach. There you go, nice. You didn't have to run out and get tagged yourself. Okay. Yeah. So he's doing a good job keeping the lead, but he's not out of the woods quite yet because he bats like at the top of the inning and not the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, so the worst thing that can happen is that he gets unlucky and they score a run on the final one, but. Yep. Yeah. That's rare against Bowser Jr. though. Yeah. What about against Bowser? Against Bowser? Oh, that's yeah. Bowser's that's a, different... a different story. Bowser is another thing. Oh, I, I can't could... wait to talk about Fast Bowser. Oh man, I, I do want to hear about this because I can tell that you're very passionate about Fast Bowser. Ah, uh, unfortunate. I think it was just one, one base though. Yeah. Okay, playing it. Oh, for a sec. Oh, that's. Uh, yeah, that's a catch. Nice. Yeah, I, I thought that he, he was playing it safe with the bomb ball. That should okay, be it. that's good. Oh, All nice right. to worth. He did it. All right, that was a decent Bowser Jr. Yeah, not bad. That was about, I want to say, five minutes. All right. Now on to the big boss himself. Now, are you going to start talking about Fast Bowser yeah. now? Go ahead. So the very difficult strategy for Bowser is actually to get 10, 10 runs in the very first inning. And it actually causes a mercy rule if you're able to prevent Bowser from scoring. Now, actually getting... 10 runs in the first inning is super difficult. I think I've done, I've lost multiple record paces to Fast Bowser, probably like 10 or 15. It's right at the end of the run too. So this is like required strat if you want to get world record in this category. Pretty, pretty much, not getting it can lose, can lose close to like two or three minutes. Yeah, so this is a make or break strat. Wow. That, and that... actually because of that, Oh, goodbye, Toadsworth. Yeah, sadly, we gotta do it. Yeah, we haven't sh 
we haven't really shown too much. Toad's worth actually uh, yeah, his, so his batting. Mercy going to be on for it. Well, he's not that good at batting. Yeah, no, Toad's worth batting is not awful at much batting. better. Yeah. So I take it you're not going for fast Bowser. Um, I'll go for it. Let's go. If I'm at if I'm at two outs, if I'm at two outs though, then then you yeah. just have to play it safe. But I, w I want to see some magic happen. Oh, oh, you got oh, that lucky then. Yeah, Very. that was a foul. <laughs> Very barely there. Uh-oh. Very nice. Oh, that was not good. Oh, never mind. Not very nice. The bomb exploded a little bit too yeah, late there. Late. Not saying that. He didn't move. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice hit there. Oh, very good. Okay, so far looking good. What's a star meter looking at? Ooh. We've got an RBI chance. Yo, these hits are really good so far. So that's one run in. We need another nine, though. Oh. oh barely got there. Nice. Yeah, I thought we were going to see, like, the close call thing. Have you ever seen that happen before? I have not, no. Okay, so certain of characters have abilities, like, with close call, where if it's, like, really close to each other, it's basically, like, a, a reaction event where you have to press A or B. And for certain characters, like Mario, if they win, they, like, grow large. Like, if you see their character ability enlarge, but you never see them large, that's when they do it. And they could, like, not only win and get past the base, but they could also knock the baseman out. Oh, that's, oh, that's a buddy toss. Oh, oh wrong that's... base. Yo, this is looking very good. Oh, you made it to both of them. Nice. Oh, playing it very close with these bases. Yeah. So again, not only does he need to get 10 runs on this first one to get fast Bowser, but he also does need to make sure Bowser doesn't get a single run. Yeah. So I'll probably get, I'll probably go for 11 in the first inning, 11 yeah, or 12. Yeah, to play extra safe if you get up to 10. These hits are really, really good. Yeah, these are like- Yo, a, that's really good RNG. Yeah. This is like the best kind of hit you can have when they have to constantly be running around. Yeah, it gets a bit tough, I bet, at this part because the hitting is... Whoa! Nice. That was Amazing. really lucky. This is really looking good so far. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a little unlucky there. Safe, though. Okay, so no double play. No double play, which is nice, but he did get an unfortunate out there. Yeah. So we're now all the way to full rotation. Oh, nice. Yeah, Star Swing basically prevents uh, it from getting, like, caught. And if you may have noticed, if no one's played this game, he is throwing a oh! shell there. This is close oh. game play I talked about. Oh, nice. Mario can take that to third as well. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, so that's what Moontick was talking about earlier with the, uh, the, the close plays. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, maybe he'll miss oh. it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh. What is this luck? Oh, he's fatigued, too. Let's go. Is he going to switch, or wow. is he just too stupid? Oh, he's just too stupid. <laughs> All right. Yo, most OP star swing. I am not chancing it with... Yep, that's what I mentioned. They get knocked out for a long time. And Luigi's going to get home. There yeah. you go. Oh, Peach, too, maybe? Is Peach going to get... Inside the with... hard home run? Oh, maybe. Uh, oh, no. That's, that's not going to make no. it. Oh, never mind. No! Oh. Okay, oh. but we have 10. We have 10. So we can get fast Bowser in a marathon. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe this. Nice slow hit, uh, nice slow, slow throw there, actually. I'll still go for 11. Okay, this, yeah. this one. I'm not hitting it. I'm not going for it. Okay, okay. Just let him waste a star. Okay, nice. Um, I think uh, you're safe. He threw the wrong base. <laughs> it's not like Wario was fast enough to reach there. I am puzzled by this AI. I, I don't know what Bowser was doing there. Yo, is this a homer? No, no, that's out. That's out. Unless? Unless they fumble it. Yeah, there were two of them. Uh, There's no way. Yeah. All okay. right. So this is the hardest part of the run. Yeah, so now that he only has 10, he has to make sure that they don't get a single run. 
but I don't think he got the glitch, so he should be good. He didn't get the glitch, yeah. Yeah, because I saw the window. Oh. Oh, Whoa, what happened like, there? It hit, it hit. Oh, like, <laughs> it, nice save. So that hit oh. King bob who's flying around, so he had to react to that. That's a, that's a foul, yeah. Also, one thing that I think we should have mentioned earlier with this game, just the quirk, is like certain characters don't even use bats. They sometimes use like an object related to that, like yeah. DK using the boxing glove. I, I just love the fact that he uses a boomerang to hit. Yeah, just random aside, I threw a boomerang for the first time correctly a couple weeks ago, actually. Oh, nice catch there. Yo, Yo two one outs. We're about out. to see fast Bowser. Uh, and timing ends as soon as the last out happens. I think that's it. Let's go, Benny. Fast Bowser. That's it. Time! That time! Time! Woo! Fast Bowser, baby! Let's go! Whew. That's that was, a really good run. That, that was, was amazing crazy. RNG at the end. That was as good as a marathon run ending that you could get. The, big, the beginning of the run wasn't amazing, but ending it off on that is just... That's, that's the wonders of baseball. Man, that was a really, really good showcase. So before you go, anyone you want to shout out? Um, just shout out to shout out to the commenters, uh, Ludic J and Joey King J, and also shout out to the Super Sluggers community. We're a small community. The Discord isn't very active, but we're very welcoming, very supportive of each other. Um, yeah, it, just shout out to to GSA and Milo for setting everything up yeah. and having me on. Yeah, and as a personal shout out to, you're referring to the speedrun Discord for Sluggers, right? Yes. I'd also like to shout out another community uh, server for Mario Super Sluggers in general. Uh, there's this one Sunshine Runner known as Switchmaster. He runs this YouTube channel called uh, Mario Sluggers Fan Club, and they have a Discord server as well. Really good community. They talk about like certain strats for a little niche competitive scene this game's had. They've recently uh, made netplay possible via Parsec. So if you want to join that community, look up uh, Mario Sluggers Fan Club on YouTube, and you'll find like their server there. You'll find their channel there. Really awesome people. And one more thing, um, I I run this game occasionally. Um, I also do 99O attempts. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, think we'll call it there. Thank you for having me.